Hello, my friend. Welcome to Autech. Today, we will explore the process of harvesting and processing chestnuts in the peaceful space of nature. From the vast forests where chestnuts are gently harvested until they become nutritious delicacies. Relax and experience the harmony between agriculture technology and the beauty of nature. Chestnuts native to temperate regions of the Northern Hemisphere have been treasured for centuries. These chestnut-like additions are not only a favorite ingredient in many dishes, such as cakes, but also play an important role in the history of agriculture. Chestnuts not only bring a unique flavor, but also contribute to the culinary culture of many countries. Are you a fan of chestnuts? If you like them, enter nine in the comments, otherwise press zero. We really want to hear what you think. Your voice is important to us. Our journey begins in a beautiful garden with tall chestnut trees, their heavy branches promising a bountiful harvest. When it's time to harvest, we see the chestnuts naturally split open their protective spines, protecting the precious seeds inside. When the chestnuts begin to split, it signals that they are ripe and ready to be harvested. Timing is important. Chestnuts are best harvested when they naturally fall from the tree. At this stage, the chestnuts can be safely harvested without the risk of collecting unripe nuts. However, leaving them too long can affect the quality and flavor of the chestnuts. If you enjoy nature-friendly moments like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. We'd love to hear your thoughts on chestnuts. To avoid squirrels or wild animals from taking them, don't leave the chestnuts for more than a few days. Once the nuts have split, you can harvest the chestnuts in smaller orchards by gently rolling them under your feet to separate them from the fruit. This method only requires moderate force, as too much force can crush the delicate chestnuts inside. However, in larger orchards, this process is often done by machine, highlighting the importance of agricultural technology in improving harvesting efficiency. Efficient chestnut harvesting involves machines designed to gently shake the trees, allowing the chestnuts to fall to the ground.
Once on the ground, another machine collects the chestnuts, separating them from burrs and debris. This process maximizes efficiency while minimizing damage, ensuring high quality chestnuts for processing. The company is committed to collaborating with raw material suppliers and closely monitoring the supply chain to ensure the highest quality. The manufacturing process starts with procuring fresh chestnuts, marking the beginning of their processing operations. Upon arrival, the chestnuts are loaded into hoppers using a cup lift system, showcasing the role of agriculture technology in enhancing efficiency during transport. The chestnuts are taken to the calibration machine, where they are cleaned of vegetable residues and sorted by size for uniform drying. Castagna del Prai, a traditional product from southern Italy, undergoes a slow drying and smoking process using chestnut wood, which lasts around 20 days. This enhances the flavor and after drying and smoking, the product is carefully selected to remove any defects. Unsuitable chestnuts are roasted in a rotary kiln at 180 degrees Celsius. After drying and smoking, the chestnuts are shelled using a dedicated sheller and temporarily stored in containers. They then undergo an initial automatic selection using an optical sorter, followed by manual sorting by a dedicated team. This stage is crucial for the subsequent calibration process. The calibration machine sorts the chestnuts by size. The smaller and damaged chestnuts are sent to the dryer to achieve the right moisture content for chestnut flower production. The chestnuts are used partly for flower production and partly for dried chestnuts, depending on market demand. The chestnut flour is packed in 20 kilogram paper bags, palletized and shipped to gluten-free confectionery companies, benefiting those with celiac disease. After drying and smoking, the chestnuts are shelled and processed with a grinder to reduce their size for confectionery use. The larger chestnuts are packed in 25 kilogram bags, marked with a tiger symbol indicating the four different sizes, while the smaller fresh chestnuts are also processed accordingly. The milled chestnut product is packaged and stored for sale, primarily targeting the ice cream and chocolate industries. One way to process chestnuts is by making chocolate, which results in a unique flavor. To achieve this, the chestnuts are thoroughly roasted to enhance their natural richness before being mixed with high-quality hazelnuts and cocoa to create a premium nut product, highlighting the role of agriculture technology in improving processing methods. Let's find out why you should love chestnuts. Chestnuts are not only delicious, but also very nutritious. They're packed with vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, which help boost energy and support heart health. Plus, they're low in fat and high in fiber, making them a great addition to a healthy diet. It's amazing how a snack can be so healthy. 
A big shout out to the creators of this steaming technique. It makes enjoying chestnuts so much easier. If you found this video helpful, give us a like and subscribe for more great gardening tips. Your support helps us bring you more great content. Let's try it out and see what a difference it can make to your chestnuts. First, make sure to lightly score the chestnut shells. This little trick will help keep them from getting damaged during cooking. Next, place the nutritious nuts in a modern steamer. Cover and steam for about 20 to 30 minutes. As they absorb, you'll see the chestnut shells begin to automatically split open, revealing the soft, delicious kernels inside. This method ensures you'll always have perfectly steamed chestnuts, preserving their natural flavor. The production of a strong chocolate product begins by grinding roasted hazelnuts, cocoa, sugar, and a little vanillin into a coarse mixture. This mixture then undergoes refining, a crucial step for achieving a smooth texture. The refining machine, equipped with three rollers, compresses the ingredients repeatedly until they form a smooth, homogeneous mixture, which is essential for creating soft and delicious Gianduya chocolate. The mixture undergoes a tempering process, which ensures the chocolate sets properly and achieves a glossy finish. It is heated to around 26 degrees Celsius for a smooth texture and perfect crunch, crucial for the quality and appearance of the final product. After tempering, Gianduja is poured into molds to form slabs, and once set, the chocolate is hand-cut into individual pieces. Each product maintains its artisanal quality through meticulous care, from selecting the finest ingredients to hand-cutting each piece, this process results in a chocolate product that is both delicious and visually appealing. Thank you for visiting Atec. Explore our engaging videos showcasing modern agriculture technology. Don't miss out, hit the like button, subscribe and turn on notifications to stay updated with more interesting Atec content. Please like and subscribe. Turn on notifications to discover interesting 